How's it going guys? It's Frank again and uh, not doing fancy intros one more time. Uh, so this is the second part where we are retrofitting the Alteza headlights. So in this episode we will be installing all the components, putting everything back together and see the final result. So stick up with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like it and uh, subscribe. Cheers. One eternity later. Oh, oh boys, so it's coming out as you can see. It's looking way way better than it was when it was chrome. So let's keep moving. So as you can see now, I have the cables of the low beams uh, for the, the the projector lenses for high beams and also for the LEDs of the parameters roads. <laughs> So now it's time to put the cover in and install the rings. So now it's time to install the um, rings into the housing. As you saw on my last video, if you want to get more detail on this, I just drill some holes and then I use a thin uh, cable to insert it there to make sure that it tight them up. I've made the small holes. So I will be using this tin copper to fix the uh, the lights. So as you can see guys, we have them tightened down. They look so amazing. As you can see, this is the back end. Everything tightened and what it should. So now it's time for the marriage. <laughs> so meet the marriage. Oh, look at them. Damn, they're looking so good. So now I don't know if I will black the the wizards or not. But on the last video, some people asked me how I made I did to pass the cables to the back. And as you can see, I just tied them, them up here. And there is a breather here cap, as you can see. So through this cap, I made, I made them escape. Then I closed it, it up. And the other ones come just right here through the rubber as you can see whoa it's looking so nice so let's finish up this one in order to move to the next one So now we got the cover back on, as you can see, now it is ready to go to the oven <laughs> to bake it. As you can see, we just use it, use it our sealant to make sure that nothing goes out. So let's wait to the oven and for the oven reaches the operating temperature and then we go to heat them up. The next day. So now it's time for the most, uh, I will call it difficult part, which is do the wiring. So what we are going to do is to use that passage right there in order to make possible to pass our cables through the firewall. So this is, our, the, 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 this is the wiring for the halos. So we will connect in the fuse box inside. So first, let's go ahead here in the car. So inside here, you have a little screw right here. You just take it out. And as you can see, it's out. So you have also to take out this part of the trim right here. Just at the beginning it's enough and then you just pull this section right here as you can see so you will be able to see the fuse box right here so this is the place that we are going to connect our cable I mean the box for the halos so to make the cables pass through the firewall, I have just taped them 
and then with this piece of iron that I am going to pull from this side and also please disconnect your battery when you're doing this so we are just pulling As you can see we got the cables out this is how it is done so this box we stay just here inside to be protected from any uh, any 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 water damage so to wire up uh, the, the 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 halos as you can see I've just unmounted the fog light relay so this is the fog light relay so I connected the positive cable there and then I grounded the negative so as you can see this is on the driver side I mean passenger sides um, uh, fuse box for right hand drives or on the driver side on the left handed drive so you just have to connect the positive that comes from our uh, our uh, small box there to do the second pole of the relay and then ground it up as you can see now it's working fine so now it's time to install uh, this module for uh, the the projector lenses so what we have to do is to find out the positive pole here on the low beam slide so what I will be using is this um, uh, this tool in order to find the positive sign now what I'm going to do I will connect it one cable here and I will connect it to the ground so if it lights up that is my positive so I found the positive is the green one with the white stripe so as you can see if I touch it here check it out it lights up so we found our positive so it is this one the green the green one so in the positive side of the low beams we will go, we will go ahead and make sure that we connect this white cable so since I don't want to have a lot of job this positive side and the negative side should be connected to a permanent 12 volts my apologies there guys I was talking about the red wire the red wire should be connected to the positive side which is the cable that we identified and the black one is the ground one so it should be connected into the another wire which is the ground for the low beams what I'm going to do I'm gonna wire those up into the um, the low beams so they will work only when I have low beams for me it's fine so this yellow one what we have to do we have to tack it on the positive side of the uh, blinkers uh, bulb but we are going to test it out so I'm going to power it on since we have the ground and everything connected it should light up let's test so as you can see the low beam it's on so now let's test by plugging the yellow one into the positive side so I have just connected it check this out <laughs> Whoa. this is amazing <laughs> working perfectly damn I'm so happy so let's move on as you can see when we turn off the 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 daily running lights it also blinks that's awesome isn't it <laughs> So now we have everything done. As you can see, I have that both sided tape the module. I have all the connectors, and I will just now connect the high beams, and then I will connect the cable for the halos. So now let me just insert it back into the car. So yeah, guys, that's it. All the wiring is done. As you can see right here, uh, I've just taped all the connectors 
still missing taping those one but I will tape it right now so basically all the wiring is done so now let me show you the final result <laughs> they just turned it out so beauty oh man <laughs> this car looks so different now because of this <laughs> I'm so happy with the results definitely one very long digestive tract later uh, so yeah guys it's night uh, I just want to show some changes that I, I have made uh, into all of this and also to show you some functions so as you can see right now I have the halo standard off and if I turn them on as you can see right here only the inner is uh, turning on because uh, I ended up disconnecting the outer one because uh, I was having two colors like the halo color the, the, the Panamera colors and the halos and it wasn't sounding right so I ended up only lifting the inner one on but as you can see I still have all the functions like I can still change the colors you know to whatever color I want as you can see uh, right there so it's, it's, it's pretty nice so looking like this I believe uh, it was also good and some spoiler time <laughs> spoiler alert more things to come <laughs> cheers my man <laughs> oh i'm so excited with those i mean you saw by yourself how they turn it out i can't wait to finish you guys how the car will look when all the project is done uh, i still have some few tweaks and some other stuff to do that you will see on the next videos but so far the project is coming so fine so nicely ah man i'm so over excited about this one so man enough so <laughs> that's it guys i hope you enjoyed so i uh, hope see you next time <laughs> cheers <laughs>